Hey guys, I'm just going to teach you how to make a blowback on a pistol. Um, so you just want to trace around the slide of the gun and control C and control V and just press control T and take that back. So uh, as if you're sliding the gun. And you want to get it on track. And then you want to lower the opacity and trace around where the slide obviously would not be. And delete that. Let's take that back up to 100%. And then go on the under layer and delete the old slide. Just increase the brush size. Right. And then you want to make a barrel for it. For it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so you want to just copy a bit where it looks like there'd be a cylinder kind of shape. And you just want to kind of morph it into the shape you want. Uh, or, uh, you want to delete any excess stuff. Well, the tolerance a little bit. And just put that back now. Underneath the layer. About any stuff that would not wouldn't be here. There, sorry. Um, and then you just wanna make the barrel actually look round. And copy it to where the other slide would be. Slide it down there. And maybe increase this barrel here because it looks. And that looks kind of silly because it's not out far enough. So. Like that, like so. Okay, and now, well, this part here would, wouldn't actually be there, so I'm going to take that out of the picture. I'm just going to trace around that where the bullet, sorry, the casing would eject. So, you want to take that. Just delete the bullet. And, of course, the bullet wouldn't actually, you know. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> the casing would go in there because, you know, it cycles around it. Changes at the bullet, obviously. Okay. Let's put it behind there. I'm gonna put it on a slight angle. And then copy that layer again. Oh, I just got the shell off the internet. You can probably find it and just. It's really not that hard. Like that. And you just want to. Backing up the shell and the slide to actually make it look real. Just increase the brush size a little Like so. Um, Alright. And then. Oh yeah. And. Um, the hammer at the back wouldn't actually do that because. It would have pulled back as the slide went back. So you just want to do that. And then uh, um, um, okay. And then you want to create a new layer and get a black pencil. 
make sure your palette's black and white and just don't do that um, increase the brush size and buy the opacity like this some white in there and then mix it around Okay, and now that it's done, you just it's slightly smaller. You're, you're trying to make a smoke kind of effect, that kind of stuff top down. So you want to lower the opacity. And just rub out anywhere where it looks kind of silly. Oh. And, no. Try to make the smoke as realistic as you can, but I kind of stuff out doing this. It's kind of silly. Um, increase the brush size. Alright, it's, it's really weird. So we just take the smoke out. You could add smoke if it actually looked good. But I kind of stuffed up. So, you yeah. know. Um, make a new layer. Um, make a muzzle flash kind of shape. Like so. Put the feather in Select, modify, feather up to 10. And then you want to make it a yellowish color. And make it a brush. And make the brush around, you know. Oh, reason the back it doesn't really matter. Because it's all feathered, it's gonna flare out and kind of make a nice gun. Like oh, gun, a muzzle flash. Um, I'm gonna put it where the barrel would be. Oh, sorry. Put it back here. And go filter, blur, motion blur, and then turn the motion blur up. And just put that there now. And turn that opacity down. And create a new layer. And get uh, the gradient tool and make it so it's yellow going to transparent. And do like that. Um, and go over that opacity. So it actually looks like. The gun is firing. And you just rub out any other things. Like that. And you're pretty much done.